Little Panda by Renata Luisca. Just the other day, Grandfather Panda was talking to his grandson. I'm going to tell you a story of a little panda and the tiger that flew, he said. But that's silly. Tigers can't fly, interrupted the grandson. How do you know if you haven't heard the story yet? asked Grandfather. Once there was a little panda named Bao Bao, Grandfather began. He lived with his mother Lin Lin in the misty mountain. They live alone, but Bao Bao did not feel alone. He had his mother and she was the world to him. Here I come, Mama! Bao Bao hurled as he ran, chasing his mama. I got you! He yelled as they wrestled. Up here! He laughed as they climbed and swung from branches. Down here! He shouted as he fell from trees. Bao Bao was very good at falling. Playing was not only just for fun, it was also the way Lin Lin taught Bao Bao important panda lesson. Run if someone chase you, his mother advised. Wrestle with them if they get too close, and most important, climb a big tree to get away. After playtime, his mother sat down to snack on her favorite food, bamboo. Lin Lin loved to eat as much as Bao Bao loved to play, which was good because grown-up pandas have to eat a lot of bamboo. So much, in fact, that Bao Bao's mother sometimes needed to travel for hours, if not days, in search of food. But the little panda did not mind. If there was one thing he liked more than playing, it was sleeping. When his mother went in search of bamboo, he climbed up his favorite tree to nap until she returned. One day, Lin Lin said to Bao Bao, Don't you think you're getting too big for that little tree? Of course not! It's my favorite spot, he answered. Well, you be careful while I'm gone warned his mother as she left in search of food. Bao Bao did not hear her. He was already asleep. Every now and then, Bao Bao would wake up to stretch his legs or readjust his position before going back to sleep. Once, as he was moving to get comfortable, he heard a noise from below. Thinking it was his mother, he called down sleepily. Ma, is that you back from your bamboo dinner? But his mother did not answer. Instead, a deep voice purred. I had something else in mind for dinner. Bao Bao scurried high up the tree. The tiger followed and scratched him on the bottom. Ouch! he cried. Bao Bao climbed higher still, but it was such a small tree. Soon, he reached the top and could not go any further. The tiger longed. I have you now, he growled. But the tiger missed. Bao Bao fell just as the cat struck. He was very good at falling. When Bao Bao looked up, he saw that the tree was empty and the tiger was nowhere in sight. A little while later, his mother returned. I just saw the strangest thing, a tiger flying through the sky, she said. That's silly, tigers can't fly, Bao Bao answered from his pitch high above on a very tall tree. And that's my story, Grandpa said. What do you think? Well, if you put it that way, I guess a tiger could have flown, the grandchild admit. I guess you'll just have to take my word for it.
grandfather said. The author would like to dedicate this book to Michael, without whom this book would not be. Thank you for your love and support. I hope you enjoyed the story. Have a good day, everyone.